Most people in America are quite familiar with what a cyber stalker is. Most people in America are also familiar with what cyber crime is. Cyber crime is when an immoral and illegal person hacks your accounts, interferes with what you're trying to accomplish, and thinks he's got rights to be in control of your motherfucking life. The man in question is definitely Arab and is definitely involving employees at different shops to interfere with a man's life that he has no rights to. We are planning to take him to prison or put him back in his country of origin because in America we do not tolerate the liars of origins of countries that do not start here. Does that make sense to you or are you still thinking you have rights to a man's life that you have no rights to? The military has been watching that man for many months now with me as the bait and we will take him to his knees. The liars in America always think they have rights to people they have no rights to. They play in the shadows, they play in retail shops, and they interfere with men like me who are living in the streets because of cybercrime, identity theft, and fraud. The liars in the force always pretend to think they look right, but they don't. They're just yuppies all dressed up in irregular clothes, standing behind the perpetrators of crime. The liars of America are nursing uniforms who do nothing right. The liars of America steal telephones and harm people with their chemistry and their ill will. They put alcohol shops on our streets, they bring in drug overdose places, and they need to go to jail. The liars of America are Arab men generally who abuse their wives, and we don't like it here. I'm not pissing on anyone talking like this. Most of American citizens are tired of the Persian prince of Egypt ideology that says, I'm in charge of you, I am king, and I will own you too. We don't like it. In America, we have rights to speak the truth. And the liar in American culture always thinks he's got something for hire. He doesn't, and that is untrue. In America, we know that people have rights, but men and women in retail shops think that their might is more important than their corporate culture, their corporate brand, and their national publicly traded companies stand on human rights.